For almost a year and a half, Mali has been in crisis. French troops joined forces with Mali's military in January to stop a rebel advance in the north. They came at the invitation of a government left in disarray after a military coup in March last year. The power vacuum that created enabled armed groups to take control of the northern two-thirds of the country. The armed group Ansar al-Din, which is said to be affiliated with Al-Qaeda in North Africa, and Tuareg fighters seized the opportunity to assert independence in the north and impose Islamic law. But they were beaten back, opening the way for this presidential vote. There is a lot riding on it, in particular billions of dollars in foreign aid. But more than that, people here are looking for stability. It has been a presidential race dominated by two men. The provisional results are now in for the July 28 vote. Ibrahim Boubacar Keita, or IBK as he is known, secured 39% of the vote. His main rival, Sumaila Sisse, won almost 19% of all the ballots cast. But neither have enough to win outright, which is why people will return to the polling booths on August 11. We were expecting a first round victory. We are disappointed it did not happen, but Malians have spoken. We are hoping for a president who will be able to solve the problems we have in this country so that Mali can move ahead and develop. Sisse and other candidates say the polls were murdered by irregularities. The final results will be verified by the Constitutional Court and EU election observers have urged everyone to respect the results. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Bamako.